You're talking to Citigroup clients today. How do you dovetail this political debate of President Trump and global tariffs and the rest into Dow 25,000? How do you squeeze them together? You actually don't squeeze them together because you're living in a schizophrenic world. The political world and what's being discussed um, is, is, is taking place in sort of this uh, uh, you know, multipolar versus global economy is really the theme. Uh, the idea that we should somehow expect that Trump is going to change his mind or all of a sudden you know, backtrack or no compromise. Evidence of that. There is no evidence of that. And frankly, if you think about how many agreements we've withdrawn from or right. tried to renegotiate, that seems to be a theme. He's playing, I think, very much to a domestic audience who believes that America was somehow treated unfairly in the past, and his job in some ways is to clean that up. Your, your colleague in crime, Tobias Lefkowitz, joined us yesterday, and he sustained an enthusiasm for equities, even at these valuations. For Citigroup private bank, how do you frame this bull market, an unloved bull market? So it is only unloved in, in the last six months. And it's in love really because, first of all, it was a great love affair for, the, for 2017. You had the 75 calmest days of the previous yeah. you know, 10 years. So you have to look at it from a data perspective. Two things are going on that I think are, are driving the market. One is earnings, and earnings are growing in the U.S. They're obviously going to have a very large 20% you know, increase year over year. Uh, 12, 12 points of that being taxes. But when you look at emerging markets or you know, other developed markets, there the earnings story is not driven by taxes, and we're seeing a 10 to 15 percent increase this year. When you look at the valuations at the end of the year, they are not expensive. They go back, in the United States' case, to historical norms, you know, just as an average of 16 PE. Mm -hmm. That is not expensive. Yeah. If you combine our growth rate with that low valuation or modest valuation, that is a story why people should own equities on an outright basis.